when these tires start wearing specifically the back tire on a two-wheeler they start to go faster than normal than when they do when they're new just broke a light bulb to start off the day. What do you think about that? <laughs> Got a couple of city recycle bins in there. It's kind of strange. This is a townhouse apartment complex. I don't think they even have those here. I don't know what to do with them. Put them out on the street, I suppose. That little American Eagle hat. It's not bad. Put that in the free tail store. This little table. I'm just right around the corner from the free tail store. So I'm going to snatch this up. A little scrap metal. What else we got in here? Another little hat. Headband. Well, that's some kind of electronics. Look at that. Yeah, put that in the freestyle store. It looks clean. What do you think? As long as it's clean, it can qualify for freetail swag. Well, no, hard rock. Casino. These are actually not even in the right city. Fayetteville. I'm not in Fayetteville. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, I'm not exactly sure where the line. I'm running the line between three different towns: Fayetteville, Springdale, and Johnson. If you haven't seen this place before, this is the curb, a free tail store. It's where I put in, put all this stuff for people to come and get. I think they've got some spider web action. Um, <clears throat> I'll link the, uh, I got, that's printer ink right there. I haven't used this tote in a long time. That is printer ink. I'll put the link down in the description to this place. It has directions off Interstate 49. And uh, this stuff all comes out of, for the most part, it's all coming out of dumpsters. And uh, a couple little info signs there. And uh, looks like lots of the good stuff is gone. I'll be making another video here in the near future. But uh, I don't know what to do with those. I could set them on this curb out in the street and it might just sit there for months because no one doesn't belong to anyone. <laughs> 
so those are actually really high quality totes i put them almost to the equivalent of these except for they're not flexible Well, never mind then. That's the kind of vacuum right there. It's worth a little, a little bit of money. We could probably sell some of the parts on eBay, but uh, it's a Hoover Power Scrub Elite designed for pets. Dries two times faster than a leading commercial steam cleaner. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I guess it's gonna be one of those days. It's kind of lame for videos, but as far as scrap goes, hey, look at it. What's up, boy? You better watch out, boy. You better get out of there. You know what? That's a bad spot for a caterpillar. <laughs> um what was i saying oh but for scrap those cords are actually quite wonderful there's a big giant tv in that box that's the old one it's probably got a broken screen um i see a little bit damage right there but i have a video down in the description to scrap out flat screens like that the newer ones are Got a lot less scrap metal than the older flat screens. But if you're interested in that, that video's down there. some other cheap stuff I didn't turn the camera on for. A little uh, water pick. 
It's got a heavy little motor in it, but uh, some other skibble scabble. We got squirrel action. Do something more. You better do something more. <laughs> what you doing up there? What are you doing up there? You stupid? What? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? You got to run, boy. That's not bad. Look at that. What do you think about that? Take the little electric motor too. That's a piece of steel. It's all money. It's all money, sonny. What's up, man? Retail swag auto. It's not too bad. Is it clean? Is it clean? Uh, I think it's good where it's at. Approaching the habitat of the 10,000 Farkle. It's last known whereabouts. It's right over here. 
for some reason this area is just a forkle hot spot a couple of shiny backs right there we gotta sneak up go into stealth mode if we want to try to spot a 10,000 farkle again it was right there this is known it's known uh, breeding habitat early spring or mid spring early summer they have adapted their ways of mobility a 10,000 farkle look at that they can catch the wind kind of like a sail and I'll just blow <laughs> some 10,000 farkles can blow in the blow in the wind I've come across them twice the first time there was five 10,000 farkles blowing in the wind <laughs> stuck in some long grass uh, wasn't at this exact place but uh, anyways enough of that <laughs> You're a farkle, 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 farkle. The farkle call almost always works. Hmm. I must have spooked them with all my banging around in there. Oh, <laughs> oh. farkle booby trap. Oh, oh. Oh, I caught that solid too. Oh, that might leave a mark. Oh. <laughs> okay, watch out. Those farkles get crafty. Sheesh. Mmm. You cannot hide for long, Mr. Farkle. That's a 10 farkle water species. Aquatic species.
the great Farkle Hunter returns. There's some Farkle food. Wow, look at that. Sheesh. I think that's actually been burned. Uh, well, uh, maybe. No, it's just rust. It's so bad, it looked burned. Here, Farkle, 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 Farkle. Here, Farkle, 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 Farkle. Here, Farkle, Farkle, Farkle. Let's see how effective the Farkle call is. Here, Farkle, 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 Farkle. Here, Farkle, 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 Farkle. It's a good sniglet for this site right here. <laughs> it's a good thing they had two locks on it. Hey, you know what? That's actually two different bicycles, isn't it? That's two different bicycles, huh? <laughs> kind of reminds me of that Mercedes. The Sniglet contest got away from me. The, the voting process was flawed. No one really voted, they just kind of all put in their own Sniglet. So I will have the Sniglet, the, the Sniglet award video coming up here shortly. It's supposed to be Sniglet 2020. We're in June 2021. I figured I'd just make a video saying a little short video like a live stream maybe and say uh, everyone enter their, their best sniglet and then I'll pick like three of them and then I'll do an, another little super short live stream and we'll have like a live chat vote off for the best three from the best three. Sign doesn't say no scavenging yet. I mean, think about that. It says no everything else.
there used to be a maintenance man at this place i don't know if he's still here or not but uh I used to put like garbage disposals and stuff back here for people. I think that's just a garbage bag. It almost looks like someone pulled that out of there and brought it back here and ripped it open. This is the kind of scavenging that the that, uh, property owners can't stand. Just to make a total mess, right? There's actually some good stuff in here. See these printer cartridges? Uh, you can sell these on eBay as empty, even if they're not totally empty. People will refill them. Look at that, see that gold plate? Also, there's gold plate. See those ribbons? That's gold plate. It might be gold flashing, I suppose. That actually, actually feels like gold plate, though. It's pretty thick stuff. But I lock these up and sell them on eBay get a few hundred of them nice giant big giant lot and just auction them off and they sell for pretty good money i haven't actually done that in a long time but i assume it's still the same this can still be refilled and reused and resold and if not that's a that's a nice amount of gold plate on there so uh there's two different ways those can be of value of course selling them on ebay at auction is much more valuable much 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 more valuable than the gold plate but those that's about as much gold plates i've seen on cartridges these big ones like that that's a nice amount they can be messy though what do we got here let's probably go in a free tail store what do you think um i know a common thing for dumpster divers just say is always clean up clean up messes even if they're not yours but I've just kind of I see so much messes I just uh, not really gonna do that <laughs> I pick up enough stuff as it is um, the reason for that is I mean that's that's a good motto to go by Particularly if you're just you got a few dumpsters like at stores and honey holes. If you got honey holes and stuff, um, that's empty. But if I picked up all this kind of stuff, then uh, I could spend hours a day just doing that, right? I'm not. I'm not the. I'm not the litter fairy. I'm not the. <laughs> I'm not the dumpster fairy, right? Not my job. But I will pick up some from time to time. Hey, look at that. This little. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Well, remote controls. Calculator.
Yummy. Oh, maybe those <laughs> those tins are just gonna go to the scrapyard now. I think we got funk on them, but uh, I guess this is vacuum day. I can't complain for the scrap value, but I do apologize for the video. Look, another vacuum cleaner. Yay. I've got a person that buys these out of my videos. If you're watching, let me know if you want to. But uh, these Apple boxes and PS4 boxes and stuff, they hold value just because they're that brand. This is nice. Um, this looks like they've been rained on, so that's kind of good. I'm just gonna scrap these. Once upon a time when I really needed the money, I would sell these, but. Uh, a lot of this stuff is cloud-based now. I think this one, I think these ones are older, and uh, there's actually got hard drives. But a lot of them now are cloud-based, so there's not even a hard drive to take out. So you might be selling people's private information. Windows 8. That'd be good for parts. Um, I'll see. I'll take a look at them. But uh, that's nice. Laptops are nice. There could be a million dollars worth of Bitcoin on there. We think. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, hoarding, hoarding uh, hard drives. I'm not scrapping hard drives anymore. And I'm grabbing my keys again. Too busy talking. This is the tool I want. <laughs> I'm hoarding my my hard drives. 
could be uh, not just Bitcoin anymore either. There's tons of different cryptocurrencies out there that could be stuck on these computers. And uh, the day will come where those passwords can be broken with higher technology computers and stuff. Um, also, their passwords might be on another part of the computer. You know, they might have put it just like on a document or somewhere inside the computer. So some of them don't even need to be hacked or whatever. Some of them are just going to be there. But uh, anyways, that's just what I'm doing. <laughs> Hard drives or circuit boards are worth some pretty decent money. But uh, I'm putting all mine in storage for rainy day in 10 or 15 years <laughs> might be a cryptocurrency billionaire might be a thing to think about these lithium batteries can be sold at board sort as well that old ibm's got a chunky one on it but isn't that interesting we're running into problems finding enough lithium for all the electric car batteries and stuff and meanwhile we <laughs> we dig it out of the ground and then we throw it in the garbage and then bury it back in the ground in a different spot and everyone's complaining we don't have enough resources <laughs> dig it out of the ground put it back in the ground we don't have enough Surprise! So with those computers, you could sell the uh, like the RAM and the, the RAM board and the, the CPU chip, and you can sell that kind of stuff. Um, I just learned the hard way that having a eBay account open and in good standing is far more important to me than uh, trying to sell some electronics i'm not 100 percent sure if work even if they do work it opens up the door to scammers on ebay they can just say oh it doesn't work and then they'll send you back their old piece of junk right i don't know if ebay still has that huge problem but uh that's why i'll generally just scrap stuff like that but uh i know for a fact you can definitely sell CPU chips and circuit boards and stuff on eBay for good money if that's what you want to do uh, but it just opens up the door even if you even if you're the technical person that can test it out and you test it out and you know it's working for a fact <laughs> it still opens the door to a scammer saying oh it didn't work blah 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 and uh, anyways I like an eBay account at my disposal if I need it. What in the world is going on at this mess? Wow. What's up, man? You guys collecting all that stuff? Yeah. You better you better be careful. Someone's gonna yell at you for leaving that mess. What you collecting it for? What, what you collecting it for? You just feel like it? Yeah? Hey, thanks a lot, man. 
This is what caught my attention driving down the street. These kids are just making a mess over here. <laughs> Guess they answered my question. I didn't see them when I first pulled up. Hey, is this yours? Does this belong to you? Is this yours? Can I have it? If it was aluminum, I would snatch it up. But, uh, just a piece of tin, so it's not all that valuable. But I will have this low grade copper wire on here. I will have that all day long. How do you think about that? Hey, you might want to put some of this stuff like this back in the dumpster so you guys don't get yelled at. New tool for me. Isn't it amazing? Some of the stuff just laying around. <laughs> There's people out there working minimum wage jobs and stuff. Just it's, it's amazing if you don't know about something like this, if you cover a lot of ground. It's, uh, it's amazing, really. It's not amazing to me because I've been doing it for so long, but if I look at it from point of view of not knowing anything it is kind of amazing actually Anybody need some potatoes? Go figure. Nice one there, a little shop back. Looks like it's been thrown away for a reason. Maybe, I don't know. You can salvage it. I'm not going to, it, it could be done for sure. But I don't need to find two dozen vacuum cleaners a day. 
I can find two dozen a day, but what am I supposed to do with two dozen <laughs> a day? I can't sell that many. Aqua salt. Highest purity salt for pools and spas. Also known as salt systems. Food quality. Really? Huh. Enhanced with natural stain fighter. But wait, there's more. <laughs> High chlorine generators. Anybody need some pool and spa salt? I haven't come back here in a long time. Um, I haven't pulled up there yet. I just quickly hit my brakes because I got a case of the creepies. Maybe, I, <laughs> maybe it's a good thing I don't come back here anymore. Scared off dumpster divers at night time. Um, <clears throat> that's actually shoot, huh? Technically, this isn't really the public domain. Sunday, right before nightfall, I'll come back here. Though. There's no one around, so I could get a ticket. You could get a ticket doing this kind of stuff. It's not out of the question. But as long as you're just not doing anything else illegal, it shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. That's a nice little ball. Look at that. Nike Elite. That's a nice little ball. I need some air. But I'll have that for sure. It's nice. That's a nice one there. What else we got in here? Uh, borderline. I don't think so. I meant to. Uh, little kids' cleats. Huh. Borderline. Borderline. Borderline, borderline. Um, you know what? Well, shoot. Those, those are on the, on the line. On the line. Free tail swag only. Um, you know what? I could have those. Little kids' cleats are gonna outgrow them in a few months, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, might as well give him a chance. Huh. Okay. Month before Fourth of July, A little fireworks score action. Um, this is gets this is uh, starting to smell like a illegal dump. I wonder if it is. It could just be someone that works here, I suppose, taking advantage of the dumpster. Looking kind of like an illegal dump to me. Definitely some spring cleaning going on. Whatever the case may be. Hey, look at that. Dart board action. Safety darts. Um, well, hey, there's some paint. Look at that. That paint's got some good value to it. They're full, too. Nice four bottles of it. I have sold stuff like that on eBay before. Lot it up. I may just put that in the retail store. So the retail store allows me to get rid of stuff quick, and I can still make content. I've kind of moved over to making my money on YouTube as opposed to selling tons of stuff on eBay and whatnot. So I can make a, a few uh, videos about the retail store, and then break even, make a little money on those, and then like these cleats and stuff, and this basketball and this kind of stuff. This isn't, you know, normally I wouldn't even take this kind of stuff. 
I mean, I might some of it. Like, that's a nice ball. But uh, it allows me to make more content on YouTube rather than just saying, I, I found some other stuff too, like scrap. That's actually a nice umbrella, probably. I got a bunch of those for my use, though. But uh, it allows me to take a lot of stuff I normally wouldn't mess with i just leave it here so it allows me to make a lot more content it's basically what's going on with the free tail store the free tail store is a way for me to make money uh, lots of people get confused like it's for homeless people or whatnot but it's not it's just for anyone to come and take some good quality stuff and some of the people that take stuff out of there are saving hundreds of dollars just on good usable stuff right so i'll uh, say paintballs look at it paintball action like that right there normally if i didn't have the free test to it I, you might try to sell those but they look kind of old so i probably would just leave them here but now i got the free test store not only do i get to make content about the free test store i gotta extend videos like this and say yeah i'm gonna take that and put it in the free tail store rather than just leaving it there and walking away and having people comment why didn't you take that <laughs> right so that's kind of how the free tail store came into existence i would take some nice stuff and put it on the curb that's why the free tail stuff is called the curb or free tail store is called the curb but uh i don't know much about this paintball so it looks like a brand new jar i don't know if they age if they start breaking down maybe maybe they're not not uh, good anymore i don't know that much about it but uh, that's one thing the free tail store allows me to do make content get rid of stuff and if i don't know if it works or not as opposed to selling it online rather than dealing with complaints and getting bad feedback and blah 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 just let people make their own choice at the free tail store i don't want to mess with this stuff I'll leave that how i found it <laughs> um I think that's gonna do it here. That's an interesting dumpster. vacuum cleaner yay I'm just chilling, we're just chilling. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the show. As always, thanks for watching. <clears throat> I found some other stuff. I didn't want to overexcite my viewers before I end the video with more copper cords. <laughs>